and welcome to another Married to Reselling video. My name's Faye. I'm Simon. Together we are eBay and Amazon resellers. Bit of a change of gear for this video. Uh, the last video that we put out was all about the house clearance that we did and a Facebook post was put up in a Facebook group. Somebody was not happy. My favourite comment was this one and I'll put a link in the description of this video so you can visit that group, look at that post and have a chuckle to yourself. We'll definitely be making a video just based on the comments in that post. What we've got coming up for you is probably something you might want to watch when you're working. So make a cuppa, settle down and enjoy. Some of you have asked for another auction video where I show you some items that I've got from auction, kind of like a kind of blind show and tell i guess i've got um three boxes here that i bid on and i actually haven't sorted through them yet so i thought i would do it on a video for you and i'll tell you what i paid for it and what the description was it was three boxes containing novelty figures vintage tins carved african figures wade whimsies pendelfin figures general crockery in china and I paid £18 plus a premium, including VAT, of £3.78. So £21.78 total. And it's funny because when I saw this at the auction uh, the day before I bid, I said to Simon, oh, I'd quite like that. Uh, but I'll only like bid a couple of quid. Well, I didn't. It was the second most expensive thing that I won um, on auction day. So I hope I haven't made a big mistake. But... If I have, then it's my own fault and you shouldn't get carried away trying to beat other people to things just because you want them because it might not be financially viable. So let's see if I've made a mistake, shall we? First things first, this is empty box. It says mega mug on it. Grandad's mug. Grandad's are supposed to be old and wrinkly, not this one. And here's the mug. Is it like kind of a one up from a sports direct mug? I don't know. Um, doesn't look like it's been used. We will find out on that one. And I'm just gonna dig deep and hope there's no spiders. So this is a Pendelfin figure. I'm not familiar with Pendelfin. Um, never, uh, never heard of him and never found them before. Uh, not on my radar at all. It's a little bunny rabbit with a dress on it or skirt. And it says registered England, hand painted stone craft. No idea what they're worth, uh, but there's another one here. And this one has got a different label. So that one's got like a rectangle label. And this one's got a round label. So I guess they must be different ages. This one says Ro Rolly, Rolly, copyright, hand painted stone craft by Pendelfin, registered studios made in England. So this one, the original one's got some like little bits of damage on it. Um, obviously I'll look into Pendelfin figures, but there's another one exactly the same as the first one I showed you with the same sticker on the base. But I guess I will probably uh, list them as a, as a job lot. Uh, this one I don't think is Pendelfin. It says Jody on it. Hand painted Moorcraft Blackpool made in England. There we go. As usual, what I'll do is I will go through everything. I'll make a pile of stuff that's broken or not worth listing, just that I know off the top of my head that's not worth listing. And I will just dispose of those. I'll take them to the tip, recycle them or whatever. And then the one, the items that I'm left with, when I list them in the SKU, I will put the month and the year. So April 24 dash, then um, like the lot number that it was at auction. And then I will put my original listing price. So if I want to sell this for £10, let's just say, I'll put April 24-5354, dash because that's the lot number that it was at auction, dash £10. And then when I've listed everything, I will then refine my listings by the SKU containing 5354. So that will just give me a list of everything with 5354, which is everything out of this lot, and I'll be able to see how many listings there are. So say there's 20, I'll then divide the cost price, the total cost price of 21.74, whatever I said, by 20, which is the number of listings, and that's how I work out my individual cost price. I don't assign any price to anything that I don't list. A nice little grubby little trinket dish. This says Dresden on it. There we go. 
be part of a set. I have no idea. This says Old Foley, James something, Staffordshire. There's two of them. Right, I think they're trinket dishes, really, or unless they're from a particular type of food. I don't know. A little car. What is it? Is it a Subaru? No, sorry, it's a Lexus. Same continent, wrong car. Um, Lexus RX 300. Wow, I think that's gonna enable us to retire. Got a little bird. Don't know my birds very well. This is a Bezic, made in England. Oh, it's a nut hatch. Anyone know anything about Bezic bird ornaments? There you go, not sold a Bezic bird, I don't think. Obviously I can't remember everything. I do have a pretty good memory. Uh, this is filthy. It is Royal something Czechoslovakia. It's given me, like the like the sort of figure, it's very um, global figures, but they're normally matte, that's, that's shiny. Um, it could be worth nothing. Oh, another Pendelphin little rabbit. Are all Pendelphin figures rabbits? It's another one, but it's a different skirt. And this one has also got the rectangular label on the bottom. Next up is this ashtray trinket dish. Oh, there's all stuff came off it. It's Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, the Queen Mother, 80th birthday, 4th of August, 1980. Sometimes I, I well, I never pick up commemorative wear when I'm out like at a car boot or um, a charity shop, but when I do end up with commemorative wear like that, I do maybe 50% of the time list it. Quite often it sells, so that's good. I won't tip this up because it's full of dust and stuff, but it's an unmarked bowl, blue and white, didn't appear to be any chips, just, oh yeah, there is one right there, just needs a good clean, I, but I do sell chip stuff, so don't necessarily rule out chipped items, a little pot that says mustard shop Norwich, in oh, the mustard shop Norwich, England. It's a Coleman's mustard from Norwich. I'm not sure. Then we've got this plate, New York City. Brooklyn Bridge, Empire State Building, blah, oh, World Trade Center. So this is pre, um, well, before the year 2001. And uh, this is MPC Enterprises made in Japan. Might be collectible because it's got the twin towers on it. Uh, who knows? I was lucky enough to go to the Twin Towers. I've been up them, been on the top. Uh, yeah. That's not getting listed, is it? No, that is definitely broken. That is a chipped item that I wouldn't list. And this is an egg cup. This says Villaroy and Bock, made in Luxembourg. Now this is filthy, has got some damage. It might just be actually dirt. I mean, it's not very nice inside, but I've done really well with Villa Wayne Bock lately. Um, so I will clean that up and see and look into that one. I've got stuff wrapped in there. Bubble wrap. But this guy, woof, woof, woof. he is, oh, he's got a sticker. Sticker right there. It says, made in England, something country, no idea. I'll have to get my uh, magnifying glass out on that one and figure that out. I know some animal figure makes can do really well. Uh, who knows if it's that one? Oh, clonk. <laughs> Teapot. This is a English country houses, Sadler, Staffordshire, England, Tudor house built during the reign of Henry VIII. Be in quite nice condition. Teapots can be hit and miss. As are teacups and saucers lately. Used to do really well with teacups and saucers. Another little, is this a salt pot? I don't know. 
I'm tipping it over here. It's a Maddock Royal Vitreous England. Could be a little salt pot, maybe. Then we've got this. Possibly should have a lid. I don't know if it's here or not. Uh, because there are three boxes and it's got a very old mark on the bottom. I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, not much else I can say about that. And then we have this funny shape thing. I thought it was broken at first. Um, it's not. It's a Dell Royal... Does that say North? Oh, no, but... A oh, Royal Norfolk, I think. It's an interesting shape. I don't know what that's for. Uh, I don't know if that's stained permanently or if that's going to wash up nicely. I will be spending some time at the sink, I think, doing some washing up. And I'm guessing this is Pyrex. There we go. Tip it out over there. Yeah, Pyrex, England. I've not seen that one before. I don't know if it's cherry blossom or something, but I will look that up. I wonder if there's a lid. Oh God. Oh, there's a, there's the corner of that. This is a bowl with some ladies sitting on a bench with a cherub of some description and lots of roses. I've sold plates like this before and often they have something written in the middle. Um, really small writing, but I can't find it. So I'll have to look into that. Oh, another Pyrex and it matches. That's good. I've never had a pair of the same Pyrex before. I don't tend to pick this shape up. I'd, I would pick them up if they were really funky, uh, but you always see sort of the awesome design one, which my mum still got. Um, but you know, the ones that collect a lot of money. I haven't really found those before. Is it broken? No, it's another bird. This is, oh, Bezik again. It's a chaffinch, got a chip on its tail though. It's a chaffinch, we've got a chaffinch and a nutcracker. And then, is this Bezik as well? Yeah, this is a gray wagtail. Oh, so three birds. That's good. So I'm going to put these back so I can make use of the room. Just while I think of it, is it Villaroy and Bock or Villaroy and Bosch? I guess it should be Bosch. I've just got the habit of saying Bock. Bosch. All right, that was crate one of three. The tablecloth's a mess. Now we're going for box two. This little pyramid. I guess these are the Wade Whimsies. And I don't tend to pick these up. I've had Wade Whimsies before. It's a rabbit. I'm gonna lie it down, actually. I think I've had these rabbits. I've had Lady and the Tramp stuff, I think. There's another little rabbit. When I've, I've only had them when they've been in job lots from auction. A little mouse. I guess there's probably rarer ones than others. Another mouse, a little teddy bear. They're so tiny, so, so tiny. And there's another little teddy bear. He is teeny tiny. And we have a dog, a camel. Are they weighed? So small, don't even have anything written on the bottom. Oh, look, that's like the dog out of Lady and the Tramp. It says something ink HR on the bottom. Got another little mouse. A beaver? This is so the sort of thing I'd have had in my bedroom though. I had something like this with little ornaments in. <laughs> a, a smoking caterpillar. Oh, and a baby caterpillar. Is, it like, is that the dad caterpillar that was smoking? Is there a mummy? Uh, rabbit? Duckling maybe? Got a little chip on his beak. Another rabbit? I'm feeling job lot here. A little weasel or an otter? An otter, I think. Another little dog. I think this is the last one. 
a Siamese cat. That's like the cat's in there. Oh, it's got a really broken ear. Um, Lady and the Tramp as well. Yeah, so that's that. And I don't know what's in here, so I'm putting my hand in blind, literally. Um, a bookend. Doesn't say anything on the base. It's just got that. I'm guessing that goes with it. It's a boy and a girl. Again, oh, it does say something on the base. It's really hard to see. It's like impressed inside. I have to do a Google image search on those. Capri's mug. I just broke one of my mugs that I use the most, which is a bit annoying. Oh, the Royal Wedding 1981 money box. I had this shape money box with the same base, uh, but Beatrix Potter, and I've probably still got it actually. Uh, this is for the wedding of uh, Charles and Diana in 1981. Older than me. Now, I've got a feeling this could be Hornsey. Yes, not had this pattern before. Don't know what it is without a handle, um, but I'm pleased with that. So I've paid 21 pound. I'm actually, like nothing in particular, I, I don't assume is gonna go for loads, um, but I could be wrong. There could be like some 40, 40 pound pieces in here. Uh, oh, a piano. I don't know if you remember, but we've had pianos before little tiny ones in a job lot from auction. Oh, this is musical. They all went to the same person, just one at a time. I don't think it worked. Interesting. Oh, it says on it, 1933, Beckles and D, CBS, 1953. Have this enameled coffee pot. It says on the bottom. Oh, I can't even read that. Made in Japan, something or else, something, I can't read what it says at the very top, but made in Japan, but I wonder if there's a lid. Little Bunnykins egg cup. They are a Royal Dalton 1995, I think that says on the bottom. Some Bunnykin stuff can go for good money, others not so much. Ah, that matches the coffee pot. Oh, hand painted, made in Japan. And we got an egg cup. That is Primrose, CJ and Sons. Not seen that mark before. Well, we had a German Shepherd before. This is a German Shepherd. I guess this is a pipe holder or something. I've not seen pipe holders. Oh, it's Wade, England. Oh. Ooh. Stuff in here. Oh gosh. Is this Hornsey? Made in England, I don't think so. But it's very Hornsey similar similar to Hornsey, but no lid yet. That is, is that Hornsey? Yeah, Hornsey pepper pot. Oh, they always leave pepper in. Oh my God, it's empty. The amount of times I've spilt pepper everywhere, but that's cool, not had that one before. Little Smarties egg cup, I think they're Hornsey. Yep. Don't think that's probably worth much at all. And then got this little trinket pot which is Wade Bramble. Oh my gosh, I can hear sirens outside. The fire engine. Uh, this is a British Empire, Wade England Coronation 1953 ashtray, I'm guessing. Nothing like having an ashtray to commemorate someone's wedding. Ah, this could be the lid for that coffee pot. There we go. Very retro. Got another lid. Ah, that goes on that Hornsey. So that is like a preserved pot. Ah, that goes with this. So we're building a set here. 
the Made in Japan. There's a little cup. So I've got a cup and a saucer, a sugar bowl and a coffee pot. But the sugar bowl's nearly as big as the coffee pot. Leg cup. Oh, another Smarties one, that's good. Because they're not worth much on their own, but maybe as a set might get a tenner if there's a few. Got another cup to go with my Japanese set. Donkey or an ass. Made in Ireland shamrock pottery, I think. There we go. Sort of ornaments my grandparents had. <laughs> Yes, a salt to go with the pepper. Is it empty? Peace about that. I think my money's safe. Ooh. A fan. It says Yamaji Japan. There we go. Oh, Marmite toast rack. Do you like Marmite? I hate Marmite. But my doctor has told me to eat Marmite because I'm allergic to insect bites and I get really bad infections. And he said eat Marmite, but I just can't. Simon likes Marmite. Oh, we've got one of these already. It's a different flower, I think. But it doesn't have anything on the bottom of that one, but that one does. There's a lot in here. Oh, another cup to go with my Japanese tea set. And two saucers to go in my Japanese tea set. So, so far, I've got three cups, three saucers, a giant sugar pot, and a coffee pot. Oh, and I've got another one. And another one. Don't tell me it's another one. Yes. Oh, a cup. So, one, two, three, four. I've got six saucers and four cups and then I have this bowl this is looks delf to me which is Dutch doesn't say anything on the bottom but I've sold it a lot now to realize and there are collectors of it the blue and white pottery oh dear this is the Japanese like the milk jug to go with the Japanese set but the bottom's come out of it so it's gonna be missing that and then I've got a Teletubbies egg cup that says Teletubbies 1996 Rag Doll. Got a few egg cups. Oh, another whimsy, little Wade whimsy. Ah, I think that's the bottom of the milk jug. Sad times, no coming back from that. Oh, it's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel which is what Snoopy is, and which is what my parents' dog is. And my parents' dog has had a major operation today. He's only like three years old, and he had a terrible accident on Friday. And um, he's having a metal plate put in his foot, so we're all been stressed out about that. Another one of those egg cups. So we're sending positive vibes to Monty, aren't we, Luna? Another little Chinese, or Japanese, sorry, cup, so one, two, three, four, so we've got five cups, six saucers, a sugar pot and a coffee pot, but the coffee pot doesn't seem to have a lid unless it's in the other tub. And then we've got this in a little cardboard box. Some kind of lens. Compact filter holder, size 39 slash 35 millimeters, push on fitting. So is it. There. So I'm going to put all this back in, bear with. Okay, now I've got the third box to show you. And first of all, is this plastic, is it Billy Bassett? Oh, I'm not a licorice all sort fan. Um, there we go, on the back, has it got a use by date on it? They've peeled it off. It's empty, much to Simon's horror. He loves a licorice all sort. We also have this, uh, it says silver button hook, four pounds on it. It's a money box and she's got, I was gonna say a face mask, but she's not, she's like a belly dancer, isn't she? And I guess she sits on the side and then her legs hang over the edge because, sorry love, there's the bottom bit to take your money out. And we have this, oh, there we go, playing cards. 
Oh, that's quite cool. It opens like that. Ooh. It's like royal crown, and then that's up Harrods or something. I don't know. Oh gosh, what does that say? Harrods. I was right. Harrods playing cards. Wonder if they're all there though. Oh, a mirror. I don't know if that's a lid or something. But, oh, there I am. There you are. <laughs> uh, I will have a look at that. It's wooden. And then this thing. It says foreign on the bottom. And then a carved wooden head that says tank on the bottom. We've just got a a concrete stone little ornament thing. It's about four times the size of this in our garden and we've called it Tiddy, Tiddy Whacker. <laughs> I've seen these before, um, never had them, never sold them. Looks obviously Asian, Oriental, it's like her stalks, herons in there. Nothing on the bottom, don't know if they're worth anything. And a clock, West Clocks it says in the middle. Made in Scotland, it says on the back here. A lid with a horse on it. Ah, this is what the mirror was for. There we go, but there's glue on the bottom, so I don't know if what was supposed to be on the bottom there, but I'm sure we'll find it. We've got some more playing cards by the look of it with someone's phone number, 040. 72413. Is that you? Tudor Rose, Piatnik Vienna, made in Austria. Then we have this dude. Sort of resiny. Oh, he's got poseable limbs and his feet move. And then we have a cat. Don't have much luck with cat ornaments. This is wooden, nothing on the bottom. We've got some big cat ornaments we've had for ages, haven't sold. And then we've got this lady. She is the Leonardo Collection, the Charleston 1988 foreign. A hairbrush with someone's hair in it. Made in England, nylon press. And a mirror that goes with it. And a comb, made in England. Clean those up nice, they make a good prop. And we've got the Marquess of Queensbury's To Love Us A Good Tea Selected Blender China Tea from Middlesex in England. And someone was trying to sell it for £12. Look, I've got a trio. Oh, eating my hair here. Don't get dirty hands doing this. Uh, a trio of cats. If that's your thing, want some cats? Hit me up, let me know. They're very light. And we've got this. And it says a pound gift days. So someone's bought that from a charity shop. I'm sure I can get more than a pound for it. <laughs> look. look, the lady's got a twin. Purple one. She's not got anything over her face though. 1960s biscuit barrel, only eight pounds. There it is. That is that. I would have said though, plastic inside that that is an ice bucket yeah because that comes out it's not a biscuit barrel is it it's not coming out all the way but i'd say it's an ice bucket a bit different it's a buddha i don't think we've ever had a buddha before doesn't say anything on the bottom don't know if he's got any chips but that is really heavy oh ooh, a brush to go with the um hairbrush and then we have a wine cork stopper little guy oh there's another one ah this must be what goes on here i can see another one there we go three of these little dudes but this guy's got a bit of a problem with his hair though so that's the foreign item, or well, it's labelled foreign. Then we have this. 
doesn't say anything on the bottom. It's got a dead chicken and then, a, or it's not necessarily dead, but it's holding a chicken by its legs and then one under his arm. And then we have this apple glass thing. It's got a hole in the top. Is it for a flower? I'm guessing it's like a stem vase. No maker's mark on there at all. But I'm sure that will come up in a Google image search. And then this, whatever this is, a Ryuge Swiss musical movement, like Medin Hand Mein Lieben, made in Germany, or oh, made in West Germany. Okay, that's the back. Let's wind it up, shall we? Looks like a little dressing table with stuff on it. Got some more playing cards. Grandfather's Whiskers, three games in one. A Riot of Fun, A Million Laughs, the new puzzle game. And then it says that on the back. Oh, there's a loose card. A pipe, never had a pipe before. Never had one to sell. The pipe does have a maker on it. It says real briar, I'm guessing that's the wood, empire made, it's like engraved in the wood. It's really, really hard to see. Um, so I am still none the wiser. Uh, but it's good to have some kind of information to go with. I can model it on what I think is the pipe holder. And then we've got this person. Carved thing. Just looking on the base, nothing. And to go with that, I'm going to have to stand him back in there. Her, rather. We've got this one. And then this one, this is heavy. Nothing on the base. Is that a baby on her head? Yeah. And then we have this one. Again, nothing on the base. So, I mean, I know nothing about like African sculptures, I have to say. We sold bookends before, sort of African carved bookends, and let's just stop this. And they um, came back as undelivered. The, the customer never contacted us, so that is my only experience with those. Um, but for all of that that I can list, I, it's going to be less than a pound an item. There's more than 21 things here. This needs to shut up. And um, yeah, I'm quite pleased actually. I haven't had a lot like this for ages and it's funny actually because in a previous video when I said um, that the man at the auction was like sort of quite rude to me about dropping off some of the house clearance stuff that we were doing for a friend and then was rude about my mum and um, he was sort of saying oh it's all rubbish it's not worth anything. Well it's no different to any of this sort of stuff and I paid 20 odd quid for it so I don't know what their problem is he just was obviously having a bad day and didn't want my stuff. Um, but he had it and it sold. Uh, but yeah, so all of this, I'm, I'm pleased. Uh, there's a bit of research to be done on things like the Buddha, like the music box you can hear, the glass. Um, what do you think? Is there anything here that you think will fetch decent money? Like where, where do you think my money's safe? I'd love to know. And if there's anything that I wasn't sure about that you know about, please do let me know. Um, yeah, I'd be interested to hear your feedback. And is it something you'd have bid on at the auction? Do you think I overpaid? Uh, let me know your thoughts and I will get listing. But thanks very much for watching. And if you like these videos of me picking stuff out of auction and wins, let me know and I will film some more. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.